Hey guys, mm, now I'm going to show you how to work with the recovery scenario in QTP. Mm, I have recovered a, recovery sample script for you, which will open your browser and navigate to Google, then search for the word test and it will automatically close. Um, let me show you by running the test. Uh, and search for the test and uh, it closed expand all uh, I think every action has been done now the problem is not with this if you are facing any error in the middle of this test execution then we need to see how we have to handle um, using the recovery scenario manager to create a recovery scenario go to tools and click on the recovery scenario manager click on the new scenario button so it is welcoming you to the recovery scenario wizard it will have three actions trigger recovery and post recovery trigger is some even that interrupts your test run it is an unexpected or unpredictable unpredictable error which is happening it's called a trigger and how you are recovering from that unexpected event is called a recovery after recovery what you are going to do with the application whether you are going to jump to the next iteration or uh, you are going to start a new test then it is it will be defined the post recovery action let me show you one by one now we are going to select the trigger event whether it is a pop-up window it is object state object state is nothing but if your property values are mismatching because of the down error is thrown by the qtp then it is called object state error then test run error is something unexpected in the test run then it's called a test run error if your application got crashed sometimes ie will crash sometimes mozilla will crash it's called application crash now i'm going to select test run error and uh, I'm having a lot of options like item list, object is disabled, something. So I'm going to configure now for any error. Click on the next. So I'm going to define now the recovery operation. What will I have to do when once I, uh, I am uh, interrupted by an unexpected event? So click on the next button. I'm having four operation types here. One is a keyboard or mouse operation you can recover by clicking on the ok button of the pop-up box something like that second one is closing application process that means i can close the uh, uh, i'm going to run this test on ie only right so if i want to close the ie then i can go for the second option then the third one is function call you can define some function using vb you, uh, you can execute the same then fourth one is not recommended but you can restart the windows now I'm going to choose the second option, close application process, click on the next button. So which process? Uh, the process I am using now is Internet Explorer. So I am I need to select the IE Explorer.exe and I add. Click on the next. So I am closing the process, IE Explorer exe. That is the recovery operation. If I need to add another recovery operation, I can uh, have this checkbox enabled. Now I am not going to do that, so I am disabling the checkbox click on the next so this is the post recovery option so we are having six, op six operations repeat current step and continue proceed to next step and third one is proceed to next action means I can I can split uh, different actions in my test and the fourth one is proceed to next iteration I can jump from this iteration I can proceed to the next iteration fourth one is restart current test means from the beginning of the test I can restart Sixth one is stop the test run. This is not going to do anything. This will uh, generate the result page for me. So the thing I'm going to do the now is let me select the fourth option. Proceed to next text iteration. Click on the next button. So it's actually asking for the scenario name. Let me give the name as recovery scenario one. Description if any unpredictable error happen I'll use this recovery scenario cool um, oh there is some spelling mistake click let me clear that one click on the next so my trigger event is test and error if any test and this is a summary page let me explain you this is the summary page trigger event is test and error if any error my recovery operation will be close process means i will close the internet explorer and the post recovery operation is i will proceed to the next iteration of the test i am having the options like add scenario to the current test if i want to add it to the current test 
I can add it and uh, one more option is add a scenario to default test testing means whenever you are recording and if you are having some uh, new test you can add it to default okay? now I am not going to do that so I am going to click on finish I have done with the recovery scenario manager let me try to close it so it's asking whether you want to change the save the changes means this recovery scenario manager yes I want to save it in my local machine for future assistance let me navigate to desktop somewhere in the desktop oh, there is one QTP configuration file folder I have already prepared one uh, QRS file that is recovery scenario file let me give this name as mm. recovery scenario demo and click on save um, go to the QTB configuration file so there it is if I want to add for some test you can go for no I'm wrong I'm wrong here I'm wrong here So go to test settings in the recovery tab you can add one more recovery scenario just click on this browse button here we have defined recovery scenario demo open add scenario already I have added this scenario just I am showing you the demo so cancel cancel this way how you need to add a recovery scenario to your test suppose if anything goes wrong it will automatically trigger this recovery scenario and uh, make you to continue with your execution. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thanks. Bye bye.